Uh, what's up guys, Aaron Infants here. Uh, tell me, where is the best place to invest in real estate? Is it in California? Is it in New York? Is it in Nebraska? What types of markets should you be investing in? Well, I'll give you my opinion today as to where I think the best place to invest is. Everybody knows it's got a good roof. Got the in interior here. Ah. All right, so as you may know, I'm here in Nebraska, okay? Uh, in Nebraska, the real estate market is relatively steady. You know, it has its ups and downs, just like everywhere does, but overall, those ups and downs just kind of go like this, with a slow uptrend. Whereas, let's say California, you know, you're gonna have ups and downs like this. They're gonna be very drastic, very drastic. Phoenix, uh, Florida, places like that are all gonna have those types of big swings. Uh, Nebraska is going to be relatively steady. So that kind of leads me to the point of there's, there's two different types of markets that I think that you would want to be involved in. Okay, One of them is going to be what I call a, a, an appreciation or a growth market, and the other is going to be more of a cash flow market. Now, I say those, there's diff, two different types of markets. That doesn't mean that you can't necessarily have both of those in the same area that you're in. Um, for instance, in the area that I'm in, my local area, there's areas of town where you can buy properties at a great value that are going to produce a lot of cash flow. Okay, so they may not appreciate at the, at the higher rate. So, for instance, I believe that national average is somewhere between 2 and 5% appreciation. Okay, in a cash flow market, you're going to stay in that steady two to five percent year over year appreciation but you're going to be able to buy properties that you can then produce monthly income from they're going to give you that that the cash flow the way you put in your in your pocket every month okay let's talk about the the growth market a little bit where the appreciation is a little bit better again let's take the in the market that you're already in certain areas or certain neighborhoods of that market are going to be more geared towards appreciation. Uh, maybe it's newer, maybe it's uh, uh, developing faster, maybe that's where the area is growing towards. It may have a higher appreciation rate, maybe say somewhere between 7 and 10 percent on average. If you can find that high appreciation, that's going to be more of a growth market. Maybe you get a little bit less cash flow, but you're building equity faster and faster year over year just by owning that property don't get me wrong, you're still going to get cash flow. It's just, let's say, in that cash flow market, you get $400 a month of cash flow. In the growth market or appreciation market, it's going to be more maybe $150, something like that. Again, very rough numbers, but just an example. Uh, in that growth market, that appreciation grows, and that's where you gain your value. In the cash flow market, you're going to not necessarily appreciate as fast, but you get your value from your monthly income. Now, I've talked about kind of my local area. Let's talk about what about everywhere in the United States? Do you have to be investing in your backyard? I say no. You know, find, find an area that's going to suit you as an investor and go there. Um, I've invested in many different states. Nebraska is obviously one of my favorites. Uh, I know it the best. It's very stable, and I feel like I can find both the cash flow and a bit of a growth market in Nebraska. Uh, if you compare Nebraska's growth area or growth market to say somewhere like in Florida and Orlando, Orlando is probably appreciating at a 12% year over year rate, whereas Nebraska's appreciation in the growth areas is probably gonna be six, seven, eight, somewhere like that. But it can be very steady overall. That's what I like about Nebraska. Um, so again, does it have to be in your backyard? No, it doesn't. But what you want to do is find what's going to meet your criteria, okay? Are you looking for a place that's going to give you more monthly income that maybe you can live off a little bit more steady? You're going to want to find yourself a cash flow market. And that could be in your backyard, or maybe it could be in Nebraska with me. Um, or are you looking for something that you can invest in, maybe isn't going to produce the cash flow as, as, as much, 
but it's going to produce an appreciation and growth in value of the property. That again may not be in your backyard, it may be in Orlando, Florida for all I know. Uh, it's what it comes down to what your criteria is and what you're looking to do. Okay, so if you're not familiar with those other areas or maybe what one is better for you, find yourself a partner. You know, a partner may be able to may be able to help guide you as to where a good place to invest is. Um, you could reach out to me as well. I'd obviously share any knowledge that I have of what I consider to be a growth market or or a, uh, a cash flow market, even somewhere in my immediate area in Nebraska. I can share knowledge about that as well. So, um, if it's something that you're just unsure of, find find out, uh, learn, research the areas. It doesn't have to be in your backyard necessarily either. So if you're able to find a partner that maybe has that knowledge of where a growth market is and where a cash flow market is, whether it's in your backyard, their backyard, or in neither, that knowledge can be shared with you. And you guys can then go to those areas and invest accordingly and invest the right way based on how you want to invest, whether it's more growth or cash flow, and also with the knowledge that that partner brings. So I'll have another video out there as well Still, so stay tuned. Uh, it's going to talk about partners and what advantages they bring or maybe what advantages they don't bring or why you would or why you wouldn't want to be involved in a partner. So uh, that's it for today. Again, growth market, cash flow market. Those are the two different markets. They don't have to be in your backyard, but those are the ones you want to equally invest in. So make sure you stay tuned in with me. If you want to get some more tips, some more knowledge, more advice. Smash that subscribe button. Give me some likes. We'll see you next time.